Wells continues this almost a year to the day that she disappeared. It's our top story tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kelly Grossfield. Wells was five years old the day she went missing near her home in the Beach Creek community of Hawkins County. It's a story we've been following closely since the start. Take a good look. This is summer. She was about four feet tall with blonde hair at the time of her disappearance. Last seen the night of June 15th, 2021. Search crews continue to scour through Beach Creek in hopes of finding the child or at least clues leading to her whereabouts. Ansley Daniel was in Hawkins County today and has the latest on search efforts. A search group put on by the Wells family private investigators had eyes on the ground and in the air today in the Beach Creek community almost a year later searching for Summer Wells. And today we hear from them for the first time. We have continually grown uh, drug ponds, uh, foot searched since we started working. I would say that we've droned maybe a thousand acres, 1200 acres. Almost a year after Summer Wells was reported missing, people continue to search the area for any signs of the little girl. We, uh, we had permission to search uh, about 200 acres. Uh, area that had not, according to the property owner, had not been searched well in the past or at all. Saturday, eight people, including a drone operator and the Wells private investigator, searched a property on the backside of Ben Hill Road. There were rumors of footprints and things that were found in the woods when Summer went missing. And, uh, you know, if you sort of look at that evidence and you look at the, the surrounding properties, uh, and the direction those footprints were headed sort of gives you an idea of where to go look. Chris Storms with First to Deploy has been assisting CNC investigations in their searches. And we also use a, uh, a Mavic 2 Pro that allows us to shoot in 20 megapixel, and we use that to run through a program called Locate. Locate can detect a, a color of a shirt from 200 feet in the air, even if it's the size of a quarter. The drones are not only used to map out the search area, but one even has an infrared camera that can detect non-recorded burials up to four years old. When you put someone in the ground, um, basically as, as they decompose and it kind of kills everything around it, but as everything grows back over, over time, it flourishes. It kind of creates a super fertile soil and what you can detect on your infrared is the different color of the ground that you couldn't normally see with the naked eye. Saturday's search also included a neighbor who says the environment is similar to how it was when Summer disappeared, but he still doesn't think she could be found in the area. It's a lot of ground to cover. It's very thick. I guess anything is possible. Once you've seen two solid weeks of so many people covering such a, an area so thoroughly, it doesn't seem likely but anything's possible. The private investigators typically put on a search like this once a month in the Ben Hill Road area surrounding the Wells family home. They tell me they will continue to do this until summer is found. In the Beach Creek community, Ansley Daniel, News Channel 11.